What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Treville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy, the Destroyer, Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is targeting September for a return against Luis Ortiz or Dillian, the body snatcher white. Ruiz got off the canvas to beat Chris Ariola in May, as we know, and uh, Fox Deportes, uh, Hector Cantu, brought us to the latest on the former unified heavyweight champion, Andy Ruiz, the destroyer who acknowledges that he was a little rusty against Chris Ariola this past May and is reportedly in talks with both Luis Ortiz and Dillian White for the potential fight in September. Cantu stresses that nothing's finalized yet and it's probably best not to get your hopes up because Ruiz 34-2 and 22 and Ruiz and Ortiz 32-2 and 27 were linked to a potential fight last year but Ortiz ended up smashing the helpless or <laughs> helpless Alexander Flores instead while Ruiz waited until this year to beat a tougher than expected Chris Ariola. White, which is 28 and 2, has been talking up a potential return to the States, but his target is reportedly Jermaine Franklin. Plus, considering the WBC's ceaseless quest to screw the body snatcher over at every turn, White may not want to take a risk, which you know, fair play. I'll be crossing my fingers for Ruiz versus Ortiz. The heavyweight division needs a compelling matchup right now after the sting, after the stream of garbage is oozed out of or out these past couple months. Hmm. Let me counterpunch. I call Andy Ruiz and talks with these two guys. I say it's catch up. Okay, I say it's an act of catch up because this is something that he should have done last year. I think he should have took a fight in the progression of losing the weight. I think, you know, he was still able to fight. I think losing weight doesn't stop you from fighting. It wasn't a, t a, 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 a weight target that he was going for. I think he should have been fighting. I think because he left out so long, that's what got him rusty. That's what got him in the predicaments with Chris Ariola. Okay. I think Chris Ariola is a was a fighter that was all ready for this primed, new, rejuvenated, sculptured body of Andy Ruiz that was gonna be a little quicker, a little savvier, a little more, you know, Canelois, you know, type fighter, but he's tended to be this rusty guy that ain't fought since 2019. Okay, so um, a little mix between those two, and that's the type of performance you got from Andy Ruiz, okay? And while he fought this guy this year, he ducked, that's right, ducked two fights. One with Dillian White, said the money was there, lies. Two with uh, Ortiz, which said he wasn't ready. Whoa. Okay, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't ready for a 41-year-old man at the time, or a 40-year-old, you know, you, you think it was around March, because I think his birthday is March 29th, so Luis Ortiz would have turned 41 or was 40, but the negotiations were going on, and Andy Ruiz wasn't ready. That's why I call this now catch-up. Like I said then and predicted then, I say Andy Ruiz would be ready for Luis Ortiz this year, so it looks like, more than likely, he'll take on Ortiz, because Dilly and the Body Snatcher White has been screwed over by the WBC so much that he doesn't want to go in there and end get he get, he might get beat by Andy Ruiz and then he's out for good. You know, then the WBC will say, up oh, that was his chance, his chance is over. You know, he took on a tough fight. Too tough, too fast, too soon, too bad, so sad. Right? So Maybe Dillian White doesn't want to do that. Maybe that's why he's taking on Jermaine Franklin. But you know how I feel about that. So I think he should come with someone that's more known. But anyway, enough of Dillian White. I think Andy Ruiz is best shot he should fight Ortiz. Ortiz has the right and he deserves the right to fight more of the names in the heavyweight division. You know, I'm not talking about um, the Flores is in you know, the Kaufmans. I'm not talking about those guys. I'm talking about the guys that are hot right now because the thing about Aunt Luis Ortiz, how many fights does he really have left that he can show a credible performance on? 
That's the question you ask yourself. So if I'm Andy Ruiz, I want Luis Ortiz now. because. But we do know something for a fact. Luis Ortiz in the mind of Andy Ruiz was too much for him last year. You know, now the question is, if that fight happens, we will get our answer to know if it was too much for Andy Ruiz, despite if it, you know, who wins or loses, you know, is Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz mentally ready for someone like Ortiz? But I think that fight should happen. I think um, politics wise, it could happen again. Another Fox PBC fighters, you know, those guys have, you know, dealing with Al Heyman. So they uh, communicate quite well when it comes to the same side of the street type situation, you know, as uh, Errol Spence created, same side of the street. So I think that could happen for those reasons. Um, I do have a suggestion, one suggestion. Let's not have a wild card. I don't want to hear Dillian White or Luis Ortiz or some other fighter. You know what I mean? Like... uh Hellenius. No, no, no. <laughs> Just these two. You either get one or the other. I'm fine with either one because at least we know Andy Ruiz is once upon a time stepping up. You go from Parker to Joshua. Josh, well, Parker to one fighter. Uh, Ustadoff, I think. Then Joshua, Joshua, right? Then uh, Chris Ariola. Then back to Ortiz. Sounds like a pretty good resume to me and a good itinerary for a fighter on the same levels as Andy the Destroyer, Ruiz. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Andy Ruiz returning in September against one of these fighters, White or Ortiz. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, I will leave a poll so you guys can tell me what you think about this particular fight or fights. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.